Hello all and welcome to Frame. In this video, we will go over maps as an environment. We offer maps as an experimental feature right now. So you will have to head over to your profile section, go to user preferences and uh, enable maps under experimental features. Only when you do this, that a option will appear in frame settings where you can activate maps as an environment right here use map environment when you click on this it will take over the entire environment space and present you with a map of a particular location keep in mind that maps are not an asset yet right now maps take over the entire environment so they cannot be a part of your environment when you activate your maps you will get access to a map panel on the toolbar right here where you can set the name of the place or the latitude and the longitude of the place that you want the map to appear for. In addition to that, uh, yeah, you can see what the name here is, what the latitude and longitude here is. You can see the different kinds of views that exist for maps. This is where the active view appears. And right now the satellite slash street view is the active view. This is just the street view. You can uh, activate satellite which uh, shows you an actual yeah, satellite based image. Then you have the light mode. Once again, you can see what the active mode is right there. This is the dark mode. You have an outdoors view, which shows you uh, the streets and the entire map. Then there's a navigation day and then there's a navigation night. So there you go. These are your uh, eight views for uh, each and every map option. Now, this particular, in addition to the different views, there are a couple of other more options here. If uh, you wanted to check out what terrain does, terrain will actually represent a place's actual terrain. For example, if you're looking at a hilly region, then it will show you what the region looks like. Now, when you're working with the places that have some sort of terrain, if you activate terrain, you'll see what they actually look like in terms of the uh, hills and the troughs. But if you just want to uh, see it in a 2D view, you can disable terrain. Within terrain, you will see that there is an option called vertical offset. What this basically does is it positions the map inside of frame. So right now it's a little above me, so I'm unable to read it or see through it. So the best way to make sure that it's in a position where I can or anyone else in the frame can read through it or walk through it is to go through the go. So you can just set the vertical offset in a manner that you're able to see the terrain. And in, this, in addition to seeing the terrain, you're also able to walk around the space. So yeah, there you go. That's the way in which a, you can explore a space that has some sort of a terrain. Uh, you can also play with the different views Right now we're in the dark view, so if you wanted to go and switch to the satellite street view, this is what the space or this is what that particular city looks like at this point of time. So yeah, you can see the, the highs and the lows. This is the entire terrain of the space. Uh, in addition to this, you have one more option, which is zooming in and zooming out. Uh, this is essentially to increase the size or the overall area that that map is taking up in frame. We don't recommend pushing this too far or as you can see it might exhalate a little bit for some people but broadly these are all the different features that you have within maps as an environment you can of course use these arrows to switch through the latitude and the longitude points just by a point basis and this is what maps uh, as an environment is uh, this is broadly what you cover in this particular environment. When you go to the environment section, you'll see that there's a map option there. If you want to change an environment back, you'll have to go to the frame settings and change it to any other environment other than this. I hope this was helpful.